SOS help. I'm starting a brand new hypnotherapy business. I saw this post in uh, on Facebook somewhere the other day. And the post was talking about business cards and websites and professional photographs and, and logos and branding and all kinds of things. But this person was missing the most important point. When you're starting or actually when you're in your hypnotherapy business, there's one thing you must be doing most of the time. And that's letting people know you exist. How can people come to you for help if they don't know you exist and if they don't know what you do? The number of posts I see from hypnotherapists, well, first of all, I don't see that many. And secondly, the ones I do see don't really talk to the potential client in a way the potential client would understand. They talk in technical terms. They talk about the specific modality they use. They talk about everything but the information the client really needs to make a decision. We've all heard of know, like and trust. The best way to generate that before you speak to a potential client is to do this. Get on video and show them your face. Show them what you stand for. Show them how you can help them. So the client can then decide, do they like you? Do they really think they know you? And most of all, are they going to trust you with what is often quite intimate and quite confidential subject matter? If you're not doing lives, if you're just depending on the odd post here and there, and if you're not posting, how on earth are you going to have a regular info info or regular inflow of potential new clients? Unless you're spending a fortune on advertising, that's the only other way I know of bringing in potential clients to you. And even then, advertising doesn't really work unless you've made it work organically first. I mean, newspaper ads these days don't really work. They're incredibly expensive and there's no guaranteed return. You can phone your local newspaper now and they'll give you all kinds of facts and figures, but one thing they won't tell you is how many potential clients you're going to get because they don't know. Because the vast majority of people that are going to read that newspaper, A, aren't going to see your ad, and B, are not your potential clients. Do your potential clients know you exist? Do they know what you do? When you're starting out a brand new hypnotherapy business, this is the most, in fact, I say this is the single thing you should be focusing on. Nothing else. Forget what kind of cushions you need or uh, incense you're going to burn when your client comes in. Forget about tape recordings and homework and the type of cushions you're buying, the, where the room is situated. None of that matters. The single most important point when you're starting out your hypnotherapy business or expanding or trying to grow your hypnotherapy business is getting new clients sitting in front of you and helping them. Anything else at the start is a waste of your time. I don't care what anybody thinks. And i tell you something. One thing that really pisses me off are these people that will charge you 5, 10, 15, 20 grand to learn how to become a hypnotherapist and then they teach you this much about how to market yourself. It's ludicrous because pretty much anyone can become a hypnotherapist yeah, as long as you care about people. But the hardest part, the biggest difficulty that therapists and hypnotherapists refuse to understand, and this is going to hurt some of you, is you're not a hypnotherapist. You're not a therapist. You're a business owner. You're an entrepreneur. You're a marketer. You're a salesperson. The hypnotherapy or the therapy part comes last. Unless you do all this other stuff first, you're never going to get to sit in front of the clients. Unless you're still doing them for free or you're getting your friends to it for practice. Yeah. The only way to get new people in front of you is to put yourself out there and let people know you exist. Anybody else that says this is either running hypnotherapy businesses as a hobby, they're training people how to become hypnotherapists and don't mention the hard stuff, the harsh reality. The harsh reality is you've got to do all that other stuff first. 
You've got to bring clients in through your metaphorical door. This is why I put a post in earlier. Are you running your, are you driving your hypnotherapy business with the handbrake still on? Wondering why you're not getting anywhere. So if you're not doing this, if you're not going live, if you're not making videos, if you're not talking to people, how the hell can you expect to have a business? How? I'd love to know. I really would love to know how to do this without, you know, putting out content. Now, I'm really lucky. I love this. I have a lot of fun doing this. Yeah. So I'm really, really, you know, fortunate in that respect. But I know a lot of people that hate this. But get what? guess what? They still do it because they've realized that this is what you have to do to generate that no like and trust from potential clients. I'm actually running a hypnotherapy training course, an advanced conversational hypnosis training course at the back end of April. And guess what? It's three days and the part of the third day will be about this. Will be about how to get yourself out there, some tips and tricks on how to do it. Now, the course is mainly going to be about how to do this incredibly amazing advanced conversational hypnosis. Yeah how to get better breakthroughs, faster breakthroughs for your clients, but I'll still be covering the business side of things because it's, it's fundamental, it's important. So if you're just starting out or wondering why your business isn't growing, you're not seeing clients, it's probably because you're not putting out enough content. That's the run over for today. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below or send me a, a DM. Now, I'd like to ask you a favor. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. If actually, if you're watching this on Facebook or LinkedIn or anywhere else, yeah, I'm going to put a link to my uh, YouTube channel below. You'd be doing me an amazing service by subscribing to my channel. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching.